guys and ghouls, so I thought as 2018 is coming to a close, I would do an updated room tour for you. Now this is gonna be the third room tour which I have done. Um, it is crazy to look back at the other two and see how much has changed. I'm not sure if it has visually changed that much to you, um, but definitely when I look back I see all the things that it is missing um, and that I have added over the past years. So I thought I'd just do a very quick update and just show you sort of an overview of each sort of area of my room because obviously there's lots of different parts which you would have seen kind of flashing up within videos and also within my recent vlogs. So this is the view from the outside of my room. I've still got all of these different musical things hanging outside my door which make so much noise and also alert me if anyone is coming into my room. My door is still decorated relatively the same. Um, I've added in a couple of new decorations as you can see. Um, and I've still got my trick or treat signs um, and this gorgeous Halloween wreath which I actually bought in last year's Halloween season. But I don't think I've actually done an updated one since last year's hauling, if that makes sense. Got my spooky box club um, skeleton and then to hold my door open, I have these two little door stops. The first one is a pumpkin door stop, which I got this year in TK Maxx. And the little cat I got gifted in my Halloween sort box. And I still have the same mat, which I believe, was it from B&M? I think it was from B&M. Um, my carpet has got progressively more hair dye on it and paint on it and glue on it. We just ignore the state of my carpet at this point. It's absolutely no point trying to sort that out. Um, as for rugs, I do also have this Salpus rug, which I got from Kitty's Boutique. So let's go inside the room rather than loitering in the hallway. So this is a kind of overall pan of what my room looks like um, as you walk in. Uh, obviously my bed takes up a lot of space and I have my animals um, and various bits and bobs. It is decorated all the way around and since this is December, still, it's just, just about still December, um, I still do have a few things kind of loitering around waiting for homes which I got as Christmas presents. So to your left here we have the doorway which we just came through and then this is my mirror, not that you can tell because it is covered in stuff. Um, so from the top um, I have um, a lizard up there. I do love lizards and reptiles and things. I've got my happy Halloween sign, some photos and actually on the ceiling as well I do have this um, bunting which again I got for Christmas last year actually um, from Kitty's Boutique. Now this is where I keep some of my necklaces. These are kind of my mainly worn necklaces. So I've got um, some here, um, quite a few on here. This bat hanger here I always get questions about. My mum gave it to me for Christmas, I think it was three or four years ago. Um, she got it in Brighton and she doesn't remember the shop so I'm very sorry about that. But he is very very sturdy and he does hang quite a lot of necklaces. As you can see there is a good chunk on either side. I'd say there's probably around approximately 100 on each side of the hook but I do have a, another one to this side as well. Now not that you can really tell from this shot but it is a lizard so there's like a lizard going on up here um, but I do use this one as well to hang off any hair bands I have, any scrunchies which I've made um, and then of course there's also the necklaces so there's kind of three main hooks so you've got necklaces on this one, there is a little Christmas decoration there as well, um, necklaces here and then necklaces on the end as well. So that's where I store my necklaces. Um, I have a lot of necklaces and I kind of find it very difficult to know how to store them all. So I just have these kind of five hooks for my main ones, the ones which are kind of like my everyday necklaces. So if I, for example, think all oh, today I fancy wearing this one, I can just quickly get it off the hook without having to search through boxes and bags and things to work out which one to wear. Now, on the top of my mirror, hopefully you can actually see where my mirror is now. It's a kind of long mirror, but it has sort of wood around the outside, like framing it. So around the top of it, I do have lots of like fairy lights. I don't actually have any kind of batteries in them, but they're fairy lights, but I use them for hanging all my sunglasses on because she has a lot of sunglasses. Um, and then from the hooks, I keep my coats and my jackets. So on this side, I have both my kind of pin button jacket my pin badge jacket which you guys would have seen a lot um, and I also have my handbag on here as well and on the other side I do have a couple of coats um, and my scarf this changes depending on the season um, because it is December at the moment I'm wearing a lot of coats and things that's why my coats are there but 
usually if it's the summer I probably would take these off and kind of replace it with a thin cardigan. So underneath my mirror this is where I have all my beauty kind of items, please ignore all this hair dye, this is where I do my hair, where I dye my hair, where I wash, my, well, I obviously wash my hair in the shower, where I dry it after I wash it um, and style it and where I do all my makeup I do it down on the floor so I've got all of like my palettes and things. This little ghosty holds um, all of my um, hair bubbles that I need and also my fake eyelashes. I then have this little tidy here for lipsticks and things. These are all makeup items and then that's kind of bits and bobs which I may need to use as like scissors and tweezers etc in there just which I can grab if I need them there's also tape and things and then right back there is my big store of spiderweb eyelashes so as you come around from the side of my mirror this is where I store my tea towels and my fabric um, and a couple of scarves I find it very hard to store tea towels and I'm sure there's a more economic 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 way of doing it um, but basically I just hang them all up it's on a hat it's Trevor is making so much noise. But basically I have a ton um, of Christmas themed tea towels all there, um, kind of probably waiting mainly for me to move out, but also they're there in case I need any Halloween-y fabric for anything. I can rifle through all of those and find one which I want. And then down on the floor I have my coffin with my Sharpies in and also my uni bag. So on to my wardrobe. I have got my Halloween cards up on here. I still have about 10 that need to go up from this year. So if you can't see yours, it's maybe because you're one of the 10. Um, but basically I did have a few up sort of randomly around the house, around my room and things, which just haven't kind of made it up onto these wardrobes yet. So I keep all of my Halloween cards, there's some more down there as well. So then we come to my sink. Some people find it really weird that I have a sink in my room. Most of the rooms in my house have a sink. I think it's because I live in a very old traditional English cottage. Um, so the rooms are very small but they do all have sinks for some reason. So above my sink I do have a little um, it's just a little storage compartment. I keep crafty things up there um, and then beneath it I do have my sink which is where I brush my teeth sometimes have a wash. That's pretty much all I do with my sink. Nothing, nothing extreme. Oh, and of course I get water from there for my various zoo animals, which I'm about to show you. So at the back I have a mirror. There's lots of lizards around it. I love, love, love lizards, as I have already said. Um, but this style of lizards, um, I kind of collected them a lot when I was sort of around 15, 16. When I first started decorating my room, it was kind of with lizards. So these are kind of reminiscent of back when I started decorating my room. On my mirror, it still says a little message from my sister that has literally been there for about seven years written in lipstick I should probably clean it off one day but it does have some sentimental feeling to it and there are various other things kind of stuck on the walls and stuff like that around um, but they're all kind of like little memories and notes and things that people have sent me so this is kind of what the sink looks like. My sink is slightly stained and I, unfortunately it's a very old sink. So basically there's a black cat either side. I've got my witches in the middle and a couple of plates which I like. I keep my hand soap in this little haunted house um, hand soap gener generator what's it called a hand soap dispenser that's it um i've got a salt and pepper shaker in the middle don't ask me why doesn't have salt and pepper in but that's on a little spooky box club thing um and then i have a cauldron which is where i keep my toothbrush and my toothpaste and then of course i have a dracula just kind of sat on the side making sure that i'm brushing my teeth correctly if i take you to the side of here you'll be able to see there are a few other things this is my little spider he guards all of my lush products so i have kind of a few of my favorite products there at the moment we've got some bubble baths and bath bombs and things um, and there's also like a little spider soap that's not from Lush but I absolutely love it and I just can't bring myself to use it and um, I also have some like backup Scarex soap that I do just transfer into the um, little haunted house but that's like a backup one and it's the trick-or-treat version which is chocolate and orange chocolate and orange are my everything so that's why I had to buy a backup every time they come into store I then have my alcoholic dragon um, a little Funko Pop um, and some creams and things and then as we go up I have some shelving so I've got like various different bits and bobs here and um, I've got kind of like cotton buds um, razors in there and then this kind of was meant it was sort of built for nail polish like the little compartments are the perfect size for nail polish but as you can see I have I think three bottles of nail polish which I only ever use on my toes um, and then the rest are filled with these little bears so these are cherished teddies I first discovered them I'd say about three years ago when watching the midnight crafters channel I seem to believe she has changed her channel name so I will leave that down but I still think it's the midnight 
I want to say the midnight hour or something along those lines but I will leave it in the description below but she introduced me to these cherished teddies and they're basically little collectible figurines which come in loads of different designs of course I've only collected the Halloween ones but there are thousands so all of these are second hand I haven't bought any of these new they're ones I've picked up through car boot sales through eBay through like auctiony kind of a things so I have a little one a little ghost one um, he's running away and there is like a tiny little ghost behind there behind the little um, gravestone I then have a witch one a little one with a cat that says you're perfect my mum gave me that one I did just say I only had Halloween ones that is the only exception um, and then I have a bear on a autumnal looking bench with some pumpkins and some leaves as we go across, we have my favourite candle ever from Bath & Body Works. It is the Vampire Blood. I love the Vampire Blood smell. Um, I do actually have right there a pocket back holder. Um, I'm pretty sure his one... No, he does have some in there. He has some of the Vampire Blood hand sanitizer. That is my most prized possession from America because they're super hard to get hold of in, in England, especially the candles and their pocket backs. So I have that one there. I just leave it there to smell. If I'm having a particularly hard day, I come and smell my candles. Um, I then have a little cupcake bubble bar, um, a little kiwi. It's from New Zealand. My parents do just buy me snow globes whenever they go on holiday. Then we have um, a bear dressed up as a dinosaur and he's got um, his little trick-or-treating thing we have one as a devil one as a skeleton one dressed up as the headless horseman from sleepy hollow behind him there is a clown one and then there is a little one holding some kind of pumpkin baton and then we have a very old snow globe from TK Maxx and then as we go up we have a couple more autumnal bears um, a bear holding a pumpkin there's various soaps as well I've got pumpkin soap a bat soap and a ghost soap those are all from bomb cosmetics is what I want to call them um, got those a very long time ago I meant to do a whole haul video but they stained my bath um, and yeah I ended up not um, I then have my spooky wine glasses and then the wine glass right on the end has lip salves in it you know like uh, lip balms basically they're all Halloweeny ones I just put them in there so I know where they are and then I have one of my favorite plates behind it this is the crazy cat plate no idea why I have that I think I found it in a car boot sale potentially a charity shop just think it's hilarious he lives up there the other side of my sink is pretty boring i just have kind of soaps i have like my ghosty soap from lush um, and a pumpkin light and a pumpkin soap dispenser but that is about it i will show you my shelving however i have done a very in-depth video of course lots of things have been added lots of things have been taken away there's been a lot of change but it is practically the same but this is where i keep my oddities so top shelf we've got some picture frames got some photo that i developed in the dark room when i was back at college got a um what are they called i wanted to call it an ugly doll then living dead doll that's it got a living dead doll on the top a living dead doll down there i love that one because it reminds me of wednesday adams and that one reminds me of voldemort slightly strange but yeah i've got various crystal points and taxidermy pieces up there um i would just like to say now anything that you see that looks like a bone or anything to do with animals has been humanely sourced i would never buy anything in which an animal has been harmed i am very very cautious when buying things and some of my skulls are made out of resin so they're not even real bone this of course is the premium premium bat skeleton which i was gifted <laughs> by the midnight crafter i absolutely love this bat skeleton probably one of my favorite decorations he lives there he's lived there since i've got him and i just think he's gorgeous and behind that of course as well i have a lovely piece made by the midnight crafter absolutely beautiful on my on my oddity shelf i have my oddities mini shelves i thought it was just a good place to put it um i have lots of little um mushroomy toadstool things uh that's kind of them people always ask me how i keep this dusted and i haven't dusted this shelf in particular for that that um, it's been a few few months i'm not gonna lie um but basically i just do it shelf by shelf i have a good like it takes me a good hour to go through each shelf um but basically i do it shelf by shelf give it a dust put it back where it came from and i do take pictures before um <laughs> i take it off just to make sure that it does end up looking somewhat the same and then let's go down again uh you can see there's lots of kind of fairy kind of themed things in here as well as halloween i love anything kind of mythical 
anything spooky. Got my Book of Shadows hidden back there so no one can read it. Um, lots of things, lots of spiders. And basically just things that I've kind of collected in my travels. Everything's from some different place and has some different memory to it. Um, and then as we go down they get progressively less organised. This one's kind of like a ceramic pumpkin shelf mixed with a gnome, mixed with a jack skeleton cookie jar, mixed with a witch and the last shelf is just a mess. So we won't loiter too long down here but it's basically things which are too big to go on the other shelves. So <laughs> then we come to my spooky Christmas tree. Yes, we could maybe make this a Christmas vlog, a Christmas vlog, a vlog mess. Because here is my spooky Christmas tree. On my Christmas tree, I have this lovely gothic angel. Got that in a, I think I got that in a car boot sale. I remember I got it within my one pound fifty challenge. I think I got her for ten or twenty p. Um, and I have lots of things on my tree. Lots of characters. It is a black tree with little ghost lights. Um, anything that I can find that hangs will go on my tree. So this is how it looks. Um, there's bits from Simply Gothic's boxes on there. There's some spooky box club things, some things from October 31st. Even some John Lewis decorations fitted on there. Um, and for some reason I have a sticker from Violet Moth. Don't ask me why. Um, underneath that I have, um, a st like actually under underneath it, there is a Hogwarts box, but you're not going to see that. Um, and then I have um, this, what is it called? Basically he's like a garden... A garden ghost um, but he is I got him in the sale I literally got him on my birthday in February I think it was my 19th birthday so a few years ago now but my dad bought him for me because we saw him in February and I was like oh yes this is the best birthday ever um, and that is my pumpkin carriage I love it so much it got broken in the post it was the saddest day of my life but it is pretty much fixed but it lives down there safely so no one can touch it so back up to my window. On my windowsill I have creepy cat. Um, I've got all my earrings, not that you can see them, but they all hang there. Snow globes, a fairy in a bell jar, which I do really want to change soon. And I also have a big cactus. Let me bring you round my bed. Maybe you'll be able to see better. There's my big cactus chilling out back there. Then as we go up, you can see me in the reflection. Hello. Um, we have decorations going across. So I've got bat tinsel. Absolutely love this tinsel. There's some little bat stuck on there. There's loads of these bottles. Most of these, other than maybe three or four, are vintage bottles, which I actually found within old antique stores. They were relatively cheap. I think they're around £1 each, and you could get a deal if you got a few at a time. But those all have different stickers on from different Harry Potter references. Um, some of them are just general. Some things are actually herbs, some things are not. There's just a variety going on in there. I then have a Herbology poster here. Um, Green Man, one of my favourite plates, which says, I'm not drinking alone if my cat is home. Love that. I got that personalised by Hell's Bells. Um, a little hanging bat. Um, I got a skull. Again, completely ethically sourced. I have a picture which was made for me for my first ever Halloween sort box and also a card. Now above this I have various pictures which as you can see are all slowly falling down but they have been up there for very many years. Um, and those are all of my old cat Fred. He was the coolest cat ever so there's no way I'm taking them down. Um, and then this is also hung up on the ceiling kind of above where my sink is. Um, and that is the big old tapestry which Spooky Box gave to us which I had no idea where to hang so I hung it on the ceiling and actually today I put up this bat garland which is also from Spooky Box Lab. Let's see if I can focus that. There you go. Um, someone did say I should make it into a mobile which I really do want to do but for the sake of tidying my room I just stuck it up there for now and I will come to that a bit later. So I might as well show you the rest of the stuff that's on my ceiling before I go down more photos got my spooky all year round little flag which i love i have this massive um spider web and this is one of the first halloween decorations which i put up in my room and thought yo i'm just gonna keep it up um and that's kind of where everything started i have this bat mobile um lots of garlands and things going on this is one of the new garlands that we got this year in tk max there's a lot of stuff hanging. There's also like an old vintage kind of paper garland up there. There is a back garland just like underneath, 
just there. I know it kind of all like blends in to one. Um, so yeah, this is my bed. This is kind of what you would have seen a lot um, if you are someone who just kind of watches my sit down and chat videos rather than my vlogs you will know this site um, but you may not have seen everything around it so you kind of it cuts off about there when I'm filming um, but obviously all this stuff is hanging above my head and um, I've also got kind of bats hanging down like there um, dream catchers above where I sleep of course to catch all of my dreams um, so over here I have so I'm going to start from the left, there is this little tinsel pumpkin here, um, a little cat which Kristen bought me and then on the wall it says Boo. That was handmade for me by um, Mackenzie who I do my Halloween swap box with, um, she made it by hand and I absolutely love it. Again, one of the first kind of decorations that I was like, yes, I'm keeping this up all year. Um, a bat garland I made and then the pictures are as followed. I have my crazy cat clock, which um, actually is wrong, because that's the wrong time, but it, <laughs> it's still moving, so that's all that counts. Um, I have a gorgeous fairy picture, which Alex bought for me. Um, it has a little pumpkin in the corner, there's spiders, there's bats, there's a little haunted house, not that you can see, it is the most perfect picture, it has all of my loves in one picture. I then have, again, one of my faves, which is um, Jessica Rabbit, well it's Morticia Adams kind of dress up as Jessica Rabbit. I've got a hand drawn picture of Jack Skeleton and then a picture of Kitten and Tripod, not that you can see Tripod, but he is there, you can kind of just see his mouth sticking out. Um, I have kind of a diamond painting up there, a picture of my granddad, again you can't really see it, um, and some various other artwork. Then, in the corner of my room, I keep all my dried roses. If anyone sends me a rose, I will dry it. But it's in the corner, along with my cat that says free bird seed, um, which my parents got me from South Africa when they went. Um, I have this little sign that says home, sweet haunted home. I believe that was from Spooky Box Club. And underneath of it, you can't see it because of my mound of toys, um, but there is kind of little... Um, cutouts of the Adams family. I've got a little um, postcard which the Midnight Crafter sent me. It's one of my favourites. It has one of my favourite illustrations on and actually that postcard is what prompted me to get my vintage star cat tattoo. I have my haunted like little prints from Spooky Box Club and lots of bats and there are actually some ceramic bats on the wall as well. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see them, but they're right in the middle. There is like a flying bat, a yawning bat, and then behind the hanging bat, there is a sleeping bat. So those are those. Um, I've got a little spooky wreath up there. Um, my favourite card from Chris Miners, just there. So, yeah, that's just a bit of a kind of mishmash on my walls. And then we come to my mound of just plushes some of them new some of them very old any kind of raccoony looking ones any lemurs they're all very old from when i was younger and um, i've got ugly dolls going on i've got lots of beanie boos actually first time sighting i have this new beanie boo owl which i got for christmas um so yeah loads of cushions there are so many cute little halloween cushions under here that you can't see, so that is great. I do always think when I put my cushions out, I'm like, wow, look how gorgeous this is. Like there's one there with a, um, a cat and a pumpkin and a skeleton on a bicycle and I've got my countdown cushion, but they're all covered up. But I cannot resist a spooky plush. As for my bed, I have my laptop and my phone. And then this is my quilt, which Yasmin sent me. Um, I do have a few Halloween quilts, but this is the one that happens to be on here today. Um, so I have my favorite, I absolutely love this. It's a blanket from Home Store and Mall, which is the same place as where the actual quilt is from. Gorgeous, I absolutely love it, it's so soft. Um, and then the quilt has this kind of spooky scene on. And actually, if I lift up the quilt, you'll see that the duvet cover is the exact same print as well. So that's my spooky bedding, um, it has pumpkins, ghosts, there are bats at the top, there's witches at the top, there's a haunted house and actually all of the sheets and the pillow covers all match that as well. I absolutely love it. So that's my bed which you would have seen multiple times. So along to my desk, I do have this big chair which just seems to always be in the way, like whatever I do. Underneath my desk down there is a mess, it's basically where I keep everything I need to unbox. Um, I have lots of packages from different people, I've got some from Amy to unbox, I've got some prescriptions to unbox. 
I've got my Halloween giveaway to do, all of that's down there. So yeah, that needs work. Um, so this is my desk, as you may or may not be able to tell, I do not work, work on my desk, it's just a display desk. Um, but I have various different bits and bobs on it which I love. I've had to do a big clear out of my desk recently um, and still some of my ornaments which were on my desk haven't found homes. So if there was anything on my desk before, which I said I loved, I do probably still love it. It just hasn't got a home yet. I definitely need to put a shelf up somewhere because this happened. Trevi, hey Trevor, come out and say hello. I can see your nose. I can see your nose, come out. Come out here, Trevor. Hey Trevor Bear. So because I got Trevor recently, um, very very recently, um, basically I had to find somewhere to put him, he had to go in my room, my parents didn't know I was getting Trevor, I just adopted him without telling them. Um, I wasn't allowed any more pets because I already have too many pets in my room, um, but I really wanted Trevor and he was being bullied so I had to give him a home. Um, so. I got Trevor this house, it meant I had to sacrifice a lot of my decorations but worth it for good old Trev. Um, so Trev lives there, he's very noisy at night um, if you are wondering. Thank you Trevor. Um, so this is kind of my desk, so I've got my lights and my candles, I love a good candle. Um, let me just move my tea out of the way so you can see. Um, I've got um, a new Yankee candle there, I've got like a haunted house, um, right there I have the haunted bat shop which is the midnight craft made for me, I've got my lamp, there's a bronze cat there which my old cat's ghost lives in, um, little candelabra, big old grumpy cat which I got this year, um, and various different bits and bobs, I have this little kind of pumpkin bowl which I just store random stuff in that I kind of need like on like urgently if that makes sense because obviously your desk is where you're meant to put things that you need rather than just things that look pretty so that's kind of my storage area so behind that I have a big window um can you see me hello um on my window I've got various things stuck I'll go back up there in a minute but to the left I have a spooky pineapple. These are all kind of things I got this year actually. I had a big clear out. Um, when I say clear out, I mean I moved some things into the roof to make me way for new things. Um, but I got various different Halloween decorations and cross stitches and things going on there. Um, and then of course we have Trevor's little house. He's got a three story house. Um, he's got a lot of digging. He's got a maze down the bottom. He's got a bed. He's got a swing. He's got a seesaw that doesn't seesaw. He's got food, he's got water, he's got a private toilet, he's got a fur bath at the top, he's got everything that he would ever need. He is so spoiled. I think I've probably spent about £300 on Trevor in the last month. But Trevor is spoiled, we don't need to talk about that. Um, I have... My favourite notebooks live on my desk, basically, or they live on my chair. I haven't written in any of these notebooks because I love them so much. I have a coffin one, I have a new bat one, and I have one with spiderwebs on. The top one and the bottom one are from a speaker box hub, and the middle one is off of Etsy. I don't know where because I got it as a secret Santa present. But they live there because I love stationery. I love looking at them, but I just won't write in them. I then have a pumpkin candle. Shout out to anyone who lives in France because I got this in France and it was my first Halloween decoration of 2018. Um, I then have a couple of black cats. I have the trick or treat yourself, trick or treat yourself jar, which is where Trev's food and his treats are stored. Um, and on top of it is the lid for that candle. Um, so yeah, that is my desk. Uh, I think I've probably used it about once this year to write stuff on. Um, and then above my desk I have this big window. So as you can see it is getting dark now. I think it's probably about six, seven o'clock at night. Um, but I've got stickers. Right at the top I have four ducks. Now these four ducks are one of the first things I ever owned as a child. Um, they have been in every single room I've ever lived in, which has only been two rooms. Um, but they live up there, they don't fit in, but they've got orange legs, so I guess somewhat pumpkin vibes. Um, I have a continuing on of the garland obsession. So I have these paper ones, some shiny ones, some hanging skeletons, which are a bit grotesque, um, but 
clipped in between them are some spooky box club decorations. I've got ghosts, I've got bats. Underneath I've got cats. Um, and then I have various different things. Like when people send me stuff, I just kind of hang it off of garlands because it's my my favourite thing to do. But I love these garlands. I think they make my they make my window look so nice. I just really like them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the the display. Right now I've got my back to my door, so this is kind of what you see when you're standing right in the doorway. And then, as you go to the side, away from Trevor, this is my pumpkin patch. So, again, let me move my inconvenient chair out of the way. This is my pumpkin patch. This is where all of my pumpkins live. I decided to try and make it look a bit more homely by turning on some of my little pumpkin lights. I didn't realise that one was a disco pumpkin, but once I turned it on it made me laugh, so we have a disco pumpkin going on. Um, so right on the top I have this gorgeous fabric, vintage inspired thing, I'm not sure what it really is, but I hang it up there, I got it from Kitty's Boutique. I bought it within a minute of it going online, and it pretty much sold out straight away after that. In the corner I have a hanging cat, which was from my... Uncle David, who unfortunately passed away, and luckily he inherited, he inherited, he, I, I inherited all of his cat figurines. So I have that in the corner. Um, I've got a haunted house, some various little bits and bobs I've collected, a gorgeous pumpkin wine glass. Um, now, this little kind of box thing, I got for free in a car boot sale, and it was all broken, and my dad, fixed it for me and in there I just have really small things which I know I would lose if I didn't put them in there um so I have like some little pebbles that say rock concert there a little knitted pumpkin I've got a snail I've got some Tim Burton-esque pumpkins on that bottom shelf where is my finger here there like little kind of ornaments and a brass bat which I kind of ordered by accident but I love um so yeah that's just those like little things which I don't want to lose um, and then I've got photos and lots of things around. So basically I have this little shelf on my wall. It has three, three shelves and then side bits. That's just full of pumpkins. Any kind of pumpkin I get goes up there if it's small enough. If it's not small enough, it gets put somewhere else. Unfortunately, you may have gathered I'm kind of running out of space at this point. So there are quite a few in the roof. Um, but yeah. This is where I keep my pumpkins. I've got my massive pumpkin with my cat who wears my Killstar hat. Um, this is a little bit of a mess because it's just been rearranged in order to fit Trevin. So um, it's still a working progress. Underneath I have all of my mugs. I say all of my mugs, uh, probably about half of my mugs. I have a lot of Halloween mugs but they all are stored down there. Now this corner was gorgeous, it had loads of gnomes, it had loads of pumpkins and now this corner is just a dumping ground for Trevor because Trevor has taken over my life. So we've got bedding for Trevor, food for Trevor, a ball for Trevor, toilet rolls for Trevor because Trevor just eats one a day, bedding, more bedding for Trevor. So that corner was gorgeous but now it's just kind of Trevor. Um, this thing in the corner up here is where I store my mugs still and my various snow globes which I've collected um, and then I'm gonna see how well I can actually fit here but on the wall um, I have loads of different plates I love plates um, I love hanging them up 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 I just have kind of various different cards and photos especially of my kitten um, and like different kind of vintage Halloween inspired things which ranges all across there. Um, so back down to here, I have this beautiful Halloween puzzle, which I got in last year's Halloween swap box, I believe. I loved it, I loved making it, I finished it, I glued it on here, it was the best thing. I It's actually the most gorgeous puzzle in the world. I'm so glad I glued it. I bought so many Halloween puzzles off this and I did them and it was just like the worst thing because as you can see, there was no room for me to like keep sticking stuff. Obviously when I have a house or something I would, but where I'm confined to this room, I had to break them all up. So I do have a load of puzzles. A lot of them are undone. 
undone, not completed, because it's just too sad to break them up. And then here is just like more oddities, more like random things. And then a shed ton of books because she has too many books. So I'm gonna move you back this way. I may actually just sit on my bed while I talk to you about this bit. Um, because this is opposite my bed. So when I'm filming, this is what I'm staring at. So as I showed you before, now my camera's gonna find it very hard because I got my dragon light on. Um, this is where all like my vintage Halloween stuff is. This side of my ceiling actually hasn't been touched too much. It has a few, um, a few little stars. My bed used to be where my vivarium is. I used to have a single bed when I was like 10. Um, so, I had those stars to look up at at night. Um, and then I have ornaments on top of my Viv. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in without getting too much of the, the light coming from my dragon's ovarium. But basically I have a witch on this side. This is where I keep my ghost, sir, my ghosts. So I've got my pumpkin patch over here. And this is like my haunted ghost area. I love ghosts. Hashtag year of the ghost still. It's still 2018. This year I was collecting ghosts and the most of these ghosts you see are ones which I collected this year. Um, so I have various ghost ornaments. I got some from Ireland, um, one that was gifted to me, one from America. Oh, another one, another one from America, quite a few from America. Um, a couple of candles, some wind up ghosts. I don't really care what kind of a ghost they are, I will put them in my ghost area. Um, I am a sucker for like a sheet ghost. So this little ghost you see here at the front. Um, I got him in a charity shop actually this year. I think he was like 50p. I love him. He's just like everything I've ever wanted in a ghost. I just, he he was a good find of this year. Um, I've got some pumpkins back there. I've got lots of dragons um, and things. There's another garland coming in from here with like different, like funny looking bats on. Um, it's a mess up here, but basically there's dragons. Um, I've got some kind of, little Bethany low kind of pieces, little kind of rubbish drawing I did back there. Um, oh, the most sought after cat of this year. This was one of my favorite um, buys, snow globes. This is just another area of my room, which um, it, it wasn't full, it wasn't full to begin with, but now, it, now it's overflowing. So yeah, up there I also have like lights and bulbs and things, so yeah. That is my little ghost area that is relatively new, so that won't have been within any of my previous videos. So here is my dragon's vivarium. Now before I say anything, disclaimer, there's lots of different ways of looking after dragons and this is how I look after mine. So please do not judge the way I look after my dragon. Every dragon is different and my dragon is demanding. So this is my dragon's vivarium. There he is, looking as happy as ever. You right there, Pod. If anyone of you has just arrived to this channel, this is Pod. He's my three-legged... I was actually calling him a three-legged tripod. His actual name is Tripod, but he's a three-legged bearded dragon. He's a grumpy old man. Um, he's very picky. He's had a very strange life. Why have you got one of your eyes closed? But he's happy, nevertheless. Um, he loves his life now. I get him out all the time. He's a very sociable animal. Um, and he lives in my room, so I can always talk to him every time I'm in my room. And now he's got good old Trev the gerbil. He can look over at Trev and judge. He can look over at Trev and judge him on how much he eats. Um, so along the bottom of my vivarium, I've got various different things. I have this raving, flashy, tombstone which I got last year got some Egyptian cats I love Egyptian ancient Egyptian stuff um, I've got little ornaments I've got more dragons and witches hats and I have my coffin shaped hip flask which I love these are all bits which we've kind of picked up in um, what do you call them it's car boot sales I've got a cauldron and some witches boots and a black cat some Nutrical, which is my dragon. This crazy cat, which has dragon caterpillars. You may see one right there. They're called silkworms, but I call them dragon caterpillars. This is meant to be here. That's where that lives. Um, I've got a little thing that I got from London Dungeons with my student card on top. And then this is like an extension of my ghost area. I've got two ceramic goats with a... Goats? 
I've got two ceramic ghosts which guard this other flashy tombstone. I put notes and things in there which I need to keep safe and this is just my grabby grabbers for my dragon. So that's that. Underneath my dragon I have a chest of drawers, none of my drawers shut because I have too many clothes yet somehow I don't have enough. So I have this gorgeous little mat. I got this from B&M this year. I think it was like 89p it is solid i cannot wait to have a house to put that outside my kitchen door because that will go perfectly on top of that i have my lady leaf area that's where lady leaf lives and um, with her leaves and things and on top i have a squirty bottle in this corner it is like a bit of a crazy area but basically i've got this is where my electrics are so i've got kind of all the kind of electrics that i need for my dragon I have all my hair stuff, I have like battery chargers, you can see there's like a battery charging right there for my camera right now. Um, I did have these vintage cat decorations, you can see I still have a couple of them but they just fall down continuously so I do actually have some empty wall space there. It's a Christmas miracle! But yeah, basically, I'm going to be sticking something there soon. Um, I have lots of things on the back of my door. You can see there's a bit of a spooky box card bag. It's basically just where I keep, like, more coats and dressing gowns and things. And then we have my pin board. So, on the bottom I have things like memories, pictures kids have drawn me from, like, teaching. Stuff like that pinned to the bottom. And then the main part of the board I actually use for storing business cards. So if anyone sends me a business card, if anyone sends me a note um, when I've bought something, I stick it up there. You can see I've got a bit of spooky jewels going on there. Simply Gothic, October 31st, some Mysticum Luna, um, Gypsy Vibe jewellery. There's loads of different ones up there. Um, and they change. I also keep things like discount codes. If I order anything and it says like, oh, there's a good example here. On your next order, use this code to get 10% off, whatever it is. Um, I keep it up there just so when I go to buy something I just kind of rifle through and see if I have any discount codes. Um, I've got more like different little plaques and plates and things. There's more pictures up there on the wall as well. Pictures of my cat, pictures of my parents, stuff like that. Um, and then we're back to the hanging ornaments. So yeah, um, on top of everything, so this board was really organised until this Halloween. I got this massive ghost no idea what to do with it so i just hung it there um along with this bat so i'm not really sure what's going on that corner is probably like one of the messiest bits of my room and it does frustrate me a bit because the rest of my room looks organized to me like everything is has a certain place has somewhere that it lives like if you took an item down and asked me where it lived i could tell you where it lived this is the only area that isn't uniform so i definitely feel like hopefully next time i make one of these videos this bit will be sorted and then as you can see we kind of come back to my doorway so that's where we came in back to my doorstops to my cats to my cat pumpkin which had no other place to live other than here so yeah that is the room in which i live and i hoard all my items in oh i didn't show you i also have this annoying chair this chair i have no idea why i have it because i never sit on it but basically i got it when i had got my desk which was a long time ago it is super comfy and when it's tidy um it is a good place to sit but to be completely honest with you it does turn into a bit of a clothes dumping ground so if i have washing like clean washing of course i put it on there um but on here i have a table runner which i got this year in tk max which runs let me see if i can turn it around which runs all the way down the chair um it is meant for a table but i don't have a table long enough um and then i have a spooky box club kind of tablecloth on there as well so yeah this chair is a little bit of like a dumping ground um but so far on there i have like um crafty bits and my purse so it's not too bad at the moment um but trust me if i have washing it'll be going on that chair so that is my room i did actually mean to say before i started filming I know I've got a lot of stuff in here. This is literally 21 years worth of collecting. I am a magpie, I am a collector. If you'd like to use the H word, I'm a hoarder. Um, but I don't mind. I try and keep it clean, I try and keep it sanitary. Um, there's no bugs in my room. There's no spiders in my room, other than plastic ones. Um, I do generally keep it very organized. It may look like chaos and a mess, 
but it is organised chaos and a mess. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I was able to film an updated one, not just for you but also for me. I love looking back on my old ones and seeing how things have changed, how things have stayed the same um, and just how this hoarding problem has developed. But yes, this is my room. Thank you to each and every one of you who has stuck around to this kind of point. And also thank you to every one of you who have sent me something for my room. When I look around my room, I see a lot of things which I've been sent and gifted from you guys, especially kind of the um, cards which are on there. But like, just like little things like my pumpkin plush from Ashley O'Neill. And I got various little knitted creatures and animals from the Midnight Crafter. There's just lots of kind of memories all around, as I said, bits from Kristen, bits from Cody. Just every little thing in my room has some kind of background, some kind of reasoning by, behind why I've displayed it, why it's special to me. Um, and everything has its own story. I have looked into hoarding because I am aware I have an issue. Um, and I think I have this thing where I give everything a persona. So every single thing that you see in my room, I have in my head a little personality created for it, hence why it all needs to be on display all year round because I can't bear to put stuff in the roof because like, look at all these pumpkins, look how happy they are as a family. They do not want to be packed in a box. But anyway, I'll leave you with this lovely sight of Trevor's cage. And thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed, everyone who's watched all your support and comments this year. Hopefully I'll get it up this year. Um, thank you for everyone who has interacted with me and my channel and all of my spooky girls in 2018. And I wish you a very spooktacular 2019. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's anywhere you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I'll see you next time. Bye.